Hey guys, I'm back for another vlog on the new series, Haunting of Hill House, from director Mike Flanagan, and this is episode three, Touch. And I got a card with me this time for names that I might forget or I need to remember because I'm pretty bad at remembering names, but overall, what did I think of this episode? I thought this was a really solid good episode just like the first episode but I don't think it's as good as that second episode the second episode just had a lot of everything right about it there was enough horror there was enough drama emotion and the story overall with the particular character that they were dealing with which was um Shirley Crane was fantastic and this episode much like the other two episodes focuses on another one of the family members of the crane family and this one deals with theodora who um has a really interesting story and this one deals a lot more with the supernatural especially with her because she She's got some sort of thing about her that, you know, she can sense how people feel and all this different stuff about her. And I really enjoyed that. And it's very different from the other two things that we've seen before. And I really liked her story overall. A lot of the episode is dealing with her working at a foster care system to, like, see how things are going on with the children, and her story is really nice there. But then also it, of course, flashes back, as the show has been constantly doing, to her childhood and dealing a lot with Hill House and that it's not a house that is... Uh, what, sh what can I say? Um, it's not your typical house, <laughs> which we've already known that, but, um, she finds, like, secret areas in the place, and there's one particular scene with her younger brother and a dumb waiter, and it is terrifying and really tense, too, because this episode does have some really tense moments to that. And I really like the type of horror that this show is going for. It's not trying to throw everything at you. It's really slow about revealing stuff. And just the horror is not the main draw of the show. The main draw of the show are the characters and how they're dealing with, you know, stuff in their past and their present and their relationship to each other. And that's the strong part about this. I love the family dynamic in the show with all these different people, these siblings that sometimes they don't always get along, but they are family and they do care about each other. And they're all just so likable and charismatic and I I just I'm in love with everybody in this show um also Carla Gugino is fantastic as always I probably messed up her name again because I don't know I forget how to pronounce her name but she's incredible again as the mother she has a, another really good standout scene in this episode and she's really the one I'm most interested in because if you've been watching this with me or if you've watched the show and are watching this you know about a certain thing that happens in the past and in episode one that is very interesting about her and I want to see how the show resolves everything 
with her character. I want to figure out what's going on. I, I'm just really interested in where the show is going. It's very clear that they're going with a, each episode is going to focus on one particular member of the family. And I feel like once that's done, the middle of the show is probably going to be, you know, the big connective part where the show's going to take on and be something completely different, where they'll all be together at once and it'll be their story instead of separate stories. But I really like these separate stories right now because it gives me a chance to understand the characters and I like having an hour devoted to each um, character, each sibling. I think that's a nice way, and it gives you enough time to really understand who they are, what they're going through, and overall, I really liked this episode. I didn't, of course, like it as much as the last episode, but I loved it. I'm completely on board for this show. I think it is some of the best television I've watched in a while. It's something fresh and new that I don't think we've gotten in a while. I mean, I can't think of another show, I guess, besides American Horror Story that is so focused on telling, you know, a horror story. I but I like... I like the haunted house kind of idea of it, but as I said, I really love these characters, and I think it's interesting that that's the main focus. It makes it a very human story to where the point of the show is not to show scare after scare, but it's really about the emotion of the characters, and they're all wonderful and they're acted wonderfully by some really talented people and Mike Flanagan proves he's just a very talented writer and director. He's so good and this might be the best thing he's ever done. I feel like I said that in the last one but he's just really shown that he is a great director and I can't wait to see the next episode and see how everything turns out. So, yeah, that's really all I've got to say for this episode. It's a really good one, and that's all i got to say. So, as always, guys, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.